Hi all, welcome back to the screencast. In the last video we saw how to populate comments and we ended up talking about tidying the HTML in this video. So let's start doing that. Uh, before we go to tidying the HTML, what we need to do is we need to add an ID element to the comment which will identify each comment. Otherwise if we have the if we don't have an ID element then the operations which happen on a comment like the delete operation it would delete only one comment so we need an identifier for a comment then we need to add the task id to our task variable for the same purpose and we'll paste it thrice we'll rename them so we have unique tasks and not just one the comments however will remain the same because we don't want to spend time on it and there is no point in doing so we rename the task 1 task 2 task 3 and we append it to our tasks So that is all the changes we require we were required to do and just one last element of this is So we have two distinct comments for each element. Okay, so now let's go to this part. What we'll be doing now is since we don't need to do anything, any changes to our other HTML, we have to tidy the HTML. As in, we go to line number 183 and we observe that all the logic part of our program is post 183 line so what we'll be doing we go to using head i'll be transforming this okay so let's just check Yeah, so there it is. So we took 183 lines, the first ones, and we put it here. And the last ones also we need to take. So we have to check how many of them are there. We have six. So we'll be using tail. Okay, I don't need to use this head at all. I can just use tail of minus seven. That would give me the footer. Can I go to I go to footer okay so what we'll be doing now is i take this element and i completely delete it okay and i save the file i go to line number 183 and i select it i go to the top and i delete it okay so now we are only left 
with the actual part, actual code. As I said, we can sub template, template things out and we can create another file. Now what happens here, as I said earlier, with that when we go to parse this template, what the parser will do is it will go find this template inside this templates variable. And since we are using parse glob, which parses all the HTML templates inside the templates folder, you don't need to specifically bother about it. But there is only one catch that the elements which we use in this tem sub templating mechanism, they need to be parsed by our Go program. Our parse glob method will take care of that. Let's go at the bottom. So we can observe, if you observe the, the second argument that the template tag takes is dot. Dot represents the context object which we passed to our home template dot execute home template dot execute so what will happen is we can even have logic inside this head dot html and the complete data which we have access to over here will have access to in this data in this html page only when we have this dot otherwise we don't so for applications where underscore head.html also has logic then it is essential to pass elements to it uh, let's say i have so my context has something else like navigation and it will be representing something like so what i'll do i'm sorry this should be caps lock what i'll do this so this navigation would then be a variable inside my underscore head but usually we can just pass along one element so that is that is enough so let let me save it and run it okay so tasks.html66 Sorry, I forgot to add. Okay, so we have a server running on 8081 as we usually do. So you can see that we have these three elements. And the title and content of all three tasks are different. And there was not much logical change involved, only the ID one. So we'll check the sources. You can see that we have a complete HTML page and the header and footer were attached dynamically inside it. So let me check timeline. So when I go to timeline, my ID, the ID of my first element is one and the comment is one and two respectively. When I go to my second task, it is 2 and it is 3 for my third task. Now let's just recap what we learned. So coming to our templates, recapping templates, uh, we can now have only logic inside our template and no other unnecessary repetitions so next time if say i want to add another profile page what i'll do is i'll have this header uh, underscore head and this underscore foot so what it will enable us to do is write templates which only have content and nothing else so that was it for this video and thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.